it's a book. Let's see what's in here. Whoops, where's the hat? There we go. Yeah, we're very cool. My granddaddy. Yeah, see? Oh, the hermit and the well by Thich Nhat Hanh. Oh, the hermit and the well. Let's read about the hermit and the well. When I was a child, I lived in North Vietnam. One day, our school teacher told the class that we were going on a trip to the top of a nearby mountain. Good job! He said that at the top of the mountain. Did you know what happened? You lost your hat. You lost your hat. You lost your hat. <laughs> he said a man lived there alone who sat quietly day and night to become peaceful like the Buddha. I was very excited. Oh, I know you want to turn the page, don't you? Come here. You can turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Yeah. The day before the trip, we made food for the picnic. We cooked rice, rolled it into balls, and put the balls in banana leaves. Yeah. Ah. You turn the page. Turn the page. The morning of our trip, we walked for a long time until we came to the foot of the mountain. My friends and I climbed as quickly as we could. We almost ran up the mountain. Can you turn the page? Turn my friend, whoopsie, whoopsie. Yes, we'll leave it right there. So tell that page, stay right there. When my friends and I finally reached the top, we were very, very tired. We had drunk all of our water on the way up and did not have a single drop left. We looked around for the hermit. We looked and looked. And then we saw his hut made of bamboo. Can you turn the page? Turn the page. Good job. Inside, we discovered a small cot. Where was he? You want to turn the page, don't you? Turn the page. Yes! Good job turning the page. Yes! Maybe he had heard us coming up the mountain and was hiding somewhere, away from the noise. It was time to have lunch, but I wasn't happy. I was too tired and disappointed. Maybe if I wandered into the forest, I could find a hermit. I left my friends and went further up the mountain. You want to turn the page, Carly? Right? Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Yay! As I walked deeper into the forest, I heard the sound of dripping water. It was like the sound of music being played softly. Are we, are we through with this book? Are we through with this book? Are we through? Where did it go? Where did it go all of a sudden? The book. The book went away. The book went. You see it, don't you? You see the book? There's another book over there. Which one do you want? You want the big one? The big one? Yes. Yeah. I love the books. Let's see if we can find where we were. Oh. He's right here. He had to climb in the direction of that lovely sound. Soon, I found a natural well. Big rocks of many colors, surrounded by a small pool. The water was so clear I could see the way to the bottom. 
I knelt down, scooped some water in my hands, and began to drink. The water tasted wonderfully sweet. You cannot imagine my happiness. It was delicious. Turn the page. Turn the page. Thank you. I felt completely satisfied. I did not need or want anything at all. Even the desire to meet the hermit was gone. Suddenly I realized I may have met the hermit after all. Maybe he had transformed himself into the well. Maybe he cared about me. That made me happy. Turn the page. I lay down in the ground next to the wall and well and looked up at the sky. I saw the branch of a tree against the blue sky. I was very relaxed. Soon I fell into a deep sleep. I don't know how long I slept, but when I woke, I didn't know where I was. Then I saw the branch of the tree against the sky and the wonderful well. I remember everything. Can you turn the page, buddy? Thank you. It was growing dark and time to go back to join my classmates. I said goodbye to the well and began to walk back down. As I walked out of the forest, a sentence formed in my heart. It was like a poem with only one line. I have tasted the best water in the world. Can I turn the page, buddy? Can I turn the page? Yeah. Thank you so much. My friends were glad to see me. They asked where I had been, but I had no desire to talk. I wanted to keep the story to myself for a moment. I sat down on the ground and ate my lunch quietly. The rice and the sesame seeds tasted so good. You want to turn the page? I felt calm, happy, and peaceful. Can I turn the page for you? Thank you, thank you. That was many years ago that I climbed that mountain. Now I am an old man, but the image of the well and the sound of the dripping water are still alive in me, alive in me. You too may have met your hermit. Maybe it was a rock, a tree, a star. The hermit is the Buddha inside of you. Yeah. The hermit is the Buddha inside of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. we read that book and it was so horrible, didn't we? We read about dinosaurs and Buddhas.